We're back! Hi! So, basically the point of this vlog today is that I'm doing my senior project on vlogging and on community service. So right now we're at Cradles to Crayons and we're gonna help out and vlog the whole thing and do little interviews. We're just kind of like walking around seeing what everything looks like and it's awesome. I like seeing the dedication of these people is like really cool. Um, and I'm excited, she's excited. We're and we're help out, make some clothes, some book bags. Oh, they're doing this thing. They'll probably explain it a little later where they're gonna pack a certain number of backpacks and send them out to kids, like fill it with stuff and we're actually gonna go write a letter. They put letters in it which for like motivation for like their first day and stuff. So we're gonna go do that and we'll yeah. keep recording. Cradles to Crayons provides kids who are living in homeless and low-income situations with the things kids need. So clothes, books, toys, school supplies, backpacks, gear, and um, we are celebrating right now our Gear Up For Baby initiative. So all of uh, the things that a newborn uh, through toddler years, all the things that those little ones need, um, those ages represent about 40% of the children that we serve throughout so, the year. Um, what we're gonna do with you this afternoon is we're going to have you volunteer for a little bit and then we're going to have you come back and learn more about how to stay involved and to hear from one of our partners about the impact of the work that you will be doing this afternoon. once a month, sometimes twice a month, and I lead the groups, I lead the volunteer groups that come in. And I got involved in this, my daughter, when she was in high school, she's now a sophomore in college. She did the teen leadership program here, which is an amazing program. If anybody's out there, look at the website, cradles.org, <laughs> it's a great program. You get a lot of leadership training, learn how to give back, um, very powerful. But what I saw was, wow, I need to start giving back. Um, I was at a point in my life where I have one child, she was grown up, and I had a lot of free time. I worked full time, but I was like, you know what, I can do more. And um, went through the training program here to be a champion um, leader, and started leading volunteer groups, and it was so rewarding to me. It actually helped curb my shopping addiction, because <laughs> I started to see, wow, we can be so greedy in this country and think that we need so many things and what's really important are people. And, and then to, when in the outfit station, which is where we are right now, putting together a packet of clothing for a child in need and seeing the, the tiny amount of clothes that they get just for one week is kind of astonishing. So it really helps the greed factor quite a bit and it's just a great feeling to know that you're helping people that are in challenging situations and maybe it's going to be something 
that gives them a step up in life, especially children. I really have a passion for children. And knowing that the thought of having a child not have clothing, not to have appropriate clothing to wear, breaks my heart. So I, I love coming here. And then the other perk is just meeting all the awesome people that come and volunteer here, or people like you that come and interview us here. But I love, I love meeting people. I Thank love it here. Uh, hi, I'm Pete, and this is my daughter. What's your name? This is Zoe, and um, we've done, actually Zoe and her mom and her sister have done volunteer work for Cradles to, with Cradles to Crayons uh, a few times, and this is my first time being here, and um, I was excited to come because each time the girls come back, they've had so much fun, and I think uh, it's a great thing for us as a family to do because especially for the girls, they really... It really sort of puts home like that there are kids that are their age that actually don't have the things that they have in their house. And even today, uh, walking around here and filling baskets up, um, you know, Zoe gets really upset when we get to a bat to a bin that doesn't have something in it, and that means she realizes that's one thing that that young kid's not going to get that day. So uh, it's 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 a great way for us to do something as a family, and it's uh, you know it's good it's great lessons to try to teach the kids. So I wanted to thank you all for coming, and I've got three awesome people here to help me reveal how many kids we've impacted today. So can I get your names? Natalie. That was Natalie. Sam. And Sam. And Sophie. Woo! Okay. All right. We're going to start off in the library. Who, how many people did we impact in the library? We're about to leave. Yeah, it was really fun. It was we a very good experience. Touched our hearts. <laughs> but yeah, we're on our way out, and I guess we're off on our next mission. <laughs>